What is going on guys, Victor here. Now I got another how-to filet video for you today. We got this beautiful red snapper right here caught out of the Florida Keys on a recent trip Brooke and I took. Now I'm gonna be using this eight inch soft grip Dexter filet knife, which I will have linked in the description box below, all made in the USA knives. Let's get started. We got our red snapper and the very first thing I do with any fish before I fillet it is I kind of feel around the head here and I see where that soft meat ends. Cause a lot of fish, the meat will protrude into the head. So I kind of see where it ends and that's where I know where to start making my cuts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start right here, go into the fish, and I just wanna go kind of superficially into it, and I'm gonna work it back down towards the tail. I wanna be feeling with my knife the bone the entire time. I don't want to be feeling just the flesh. And I'm gonna continue this process until I get to the tail. Once I just make those superficial cuts from the head all the way down to the tail, I'm just going to repeat that entire process, one hand on the fillet, one hand on the knife, and I'm going to be lifting with my left hand up as I just glide down against that backbone. I'm just separating the meat from the bone the entire time, nice and easy. It's not a race. I'm just going to keep repeating this process and keep repeating the process. And just the biggest thing I would always say is to make sure you're knife is always making contact with the bone you want to be piercing the flesh but you can really hear your bone block you can really hear your knife guiding against the bone and that's the important thing so you're not just in there playing sword fight with the fish and you're missing a bunch of meat now we're going to flip them around a little bit i'm going to start over here by the head i'm going to cut into it and i'm going to work my way down to his anal opening right here which is in front of the anal fin every fish has one because all of the meat in between here and here, it's kind of his rib cage, a lot of his waist, and everything from here on, that's the fillets you guys are gonna wanna eat. Unless you want your fish whole, then that's a different story. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna start to lift the front end of this fillet back and work and get all those bones separated from the meat. Now when I get to the other side of his backbone right here, I always want to make sure I point the tip of my knife down when I get to the other side. Otherwise you're going to be going over the meat rather than underneath it. And then when you get over here, the rib cage of the snapper is going to be here and snapper and grouper have really thick rib cages. You want to make sure you don't go through it but rather over them. And there you go. So that is the very first half of our American Red Snapper, and that is some of the best meat you can get your hands on. Super white, really firm, just a really all around good eating fish. And here is what I mean about that rib cage. You could go down here, but there's very little meat on top of those ribs. So that's why I just go from here all the way down to that anal opening. We got them flipped over, the other side's done. Now let's work on the other side. First thing we're gonna do, that same anal opening I told you guys about, on the other side, we're gonna go from there all the way up to the head. And these fish have really thick scales, so don't be afraid to muscle through them. Now we got that going. I'm going to just take the tip of my knife and go from his head down to his tail, just very superficially. I just want to make the outline to start my fillet. Not sawing, but kind of just making one long stride if I can. Now that I got the outline of my fish, I can run my finger underneath here. I'm gonna start on the tail end and work it back towards me, just superficially, constantly making sure I have contact with that backbone. And I'm just separating, separating, separating. When you get over here, you're gonna have to remove the fillet from that rib cage, so you're gonna have to give it a little bit of muscle and you're just gonna lift this flap and just slowly make short little cuts, get it above that rib cage like I told you guys about, not through it. Now when you get to this point where you can see the other side of the backbone, knife tip down, and just gently alongside that backbone, just separate it. And then we finish our filet. Now 
there you go. Now's the other half. We got the two sides off of our snapper fillet. I got another Dexter knife right here, but this one's a little bit thinner, which I like for skinning fish, which we're about to do. So when you skin a fish, always start from the tail and work towards the head. So one hand down on the skin and get your knife in there. And what you're doing is you're separating the skin from the fillet itself. Snapper have relatively thick skin, so you don't really make mistakes and go through it pretty easy to skin and as I'm going through I'm sliding my hand with towards my knife and in between the flesh and the skin constantly pushing the skin down just like that so there is your snapper skin but red snapper actually have really tasty skin as well as yellowtails mutton so if you do want to eat it all you got to do is scale it get rid of that now all you got left to do is trim this up like I told you earlier, since we didn't go through the rib cage, you won't find that rib cage bone in here. If you go through it, you're going to have to trim it out. Found a little bone right here. Just go ahead and trim that guy off. And then always in the bloodline and center of a fish, you're going to find these little bones right here. They run about halfway up the fillet. You just go on either side of them. And you go like that. Lift up. Take it off. And then just feel around for bones. I don't feel any more. Now, when it comes to fish preparation, if you're gonna eat this fresh, you can eat this bloodline. It's not fishy whatsoever, but if you're going to freeze your fish or if you're going to vacuum seal your fish, I highly recommend taking the bloodline out because this is the part of the fish that's gonna go bad very fast. And this is the part that's gonna make that person at your dinner table kind of gag because it's gonna have that fishy flavor. So go ahead and take that off if you're gonna freeze it. So we got one down, now we got to do the other one, and it's the same thing. Hold the skin down as you go, try to make nice long strides as you go down. Not so much a sawing action, but long strides. Just like that, get rid of that skin. And the very same thing, we're going to check for these bones that run along the bloodline. Run our knife on all, either side of them. Do a little bit of that, trim that off, and then just feel around for any bones you may have missed in the filet. I don't feel any, so now it's ready to go. Since we're eating this fresh, we're not going to take the bloodline out. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and if you want to see more how-to videos like this, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys are interested in the knives that I use today, these are all Dexter knives. I will have them linked in the description box below, as well as you can find them at DexterOutdoors.com. They're 100% made in the USA, family-owned company for 200 years, and I'm very happy to be working with them. So I will see you guys in that next video.